death state of by PHE because confusion about how that's actually been assessed. Yeah, really interesting story. Uh, so in recent weeks, we've been seeing signs of recovery in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland when we've been getting those figures coming through. In some cases, there's been no COVID associated deaths on Sundays. But that's not been happening in England. We've had weeks where on several occasions we've had more than 100 deaths on se several times. Now statisticians from Oxford University appear to have found an explanation for why that is happening. They say that when recording data, Public Health England looks at whether a person has ever tested positive for coronavirus and then whether they're still alive at a later date. So that means that anyone who's ever tested positive for coronavirus is included in the death figures, even if they've, di even if they've died from something else. So one pretty startling example is a person could test positive, be successfully treated and discharged, say in April time, and then in June could be run over by a bus and die. That person would still count as a COVID death in England. Meanwhile, in Scotland and in Northern Ireland, they only include deaths in the daily death count if someone dies within 28 days of having a positive test. Now this team from Oxford University argue that the current definition in England means no one with COVID is allowed to ever recover from their illness the way that's currently processed. So yes, so as you say, the Health Secretary Matt, Con Matt Hancock has now called for an urgent review into how that data is processed in England. So that implies that possible the England numbers are, have been artificially inflated. Do we have any idea by how, how much?